All right, I was made aware of this little tweet. Apparently, it's from a guy named Toby Wilson, who's a member of, I think he's a member of parliament in the UK. Uh, you know, so there may be some level of partisanship related to this. Uh, however, you know, this is something that, you know, people are curious about. Why, why would London say we're going to cut our meat consumption 45 44 grams per week i mean that's a, a tiny amount of meat obviously most people would not prefer i certainly wanna, wouldn't want to wouldn't want to live on that that amount I, I i consume 30 times that much at least every probably every day so it's it would be <laughs> untenable for somebody like me um but let's look into this so sadiq khan who is sadiq khan well he's a mayor of london obviously uh, he is also the chair of the C40s Cities uh, Collective, right? This global effort to sort of uh, fashion cities so that it meets sort of net zero climate zone uh, goals, I suppose. Uh, you know, food, food. Uh, you know, kind of managing your food choices for you, telling what kind of vehicle you can drive, tell maybe how far you can go. You know, all these things are, are you know being talked about. And particularly with, with regard to the food, well, if you look at, uh, you know, first of all, let's look at some of the partners, some of the global partners. And so these are some of their global partners that are funding this. Now, these are all unelected bodies. These are nobody, no one's, no one's elected anyone to make these decisions for us. It's just they've taken upon themselves for wh whatever reasons. Maybe they think they're, they're it's, uh, philanthropic. Maybe they have alternative uh, 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 sort of goals associated with this, which is not a far stretch to, to think about for sure. And so if we look at it, they, they've got this goal to get by 2030, get everybody on this so-called diet for planetary health, right? So, so what is this diet for planetary health? Well, it's from the Eat Lancet Commission, which you might have heard of a few years ago. And this is kind of a, a snapshot picture of what it is. And it's a tiny sliver of meat and dairy, and the rest is all just plants, right? It's, it's basically, uh, and again, that's gonna result in tons and tons of pro uh, uh, processed food, uh, it's going to result in undoubtedly more and more sick people. We know unequivocally that people that go plant-based eat more processed food. That is just no, that's just what happens. Despite whatever their intention, oh, I'm going to eat a whole food plant-based diet. That's not what actually happens. What actually happens is people eat more processed garbage when they give up meat. And guess what? What does that do? Well, it makes people sicker. It makes people more dependent on drugs. Uh, it makes people more dependent upon the state. Uh, so you can see it on and on and again. And so as we did not elect any of these, you know, we did not elect this, this sort of global governing body uh, to tell us what we should eat. Uh, we need to, again, push back in the strongest possible of ways. Uh, we need to hold our politicians accountable. We need to not fund these corporations. Remember, these, co these companies, these wealthy companies are where this is coming from. And how do you uh, rein in their power will you stop supporting those companies right that's that's just what you got to do so uh, you know these drug manufacturers uh, these junk food manufacturers which are a big part of this the again I'll say this over and over the more you eat their stuff the sicker you get the more you require their drugs the more you do that the more power they have over you and so how do you undo that well you stop eating the garbage you stop needing the drugs and you have more freedom of choice, which is what I think any sane human being, you know, would, 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 would kind of want. Now, obviously there's people that are evil megalomaniacs that just want to control everybody and, and, and profit on them. Remember, all your work, all your efforts are largely uh, maybe not returned to you through, you know, there's issues with the monetary system. You know, we had a nice discussion with a guy named Robert Breedlove yesterday talking about how that is also, uh, set up against us. So it's a, you know, like I said, guys, uh, first get strong, first get healthy, then you're more equipped to uh, take on the task of fighting against this stuff, right? But you got to get healthy. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to have a, a nice, nice roast today. I'm going to do a sirloin roast. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. So we'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully, have a good, hopefully you have a good day. Bye-bye.